hi uh, today uh, we are going to see how to install the informatica in windows environment uh, before install we need to set up the database account for the domain schema so i am opening the sql plus connecting using the system account so let's create the user for the domain scheme for the domain so i am giving the schema name as info underscore domain and i am giving the password as info underscore domain and now let's give the grants on the info underscore domain schema so to create a domain we need connect resource create table create view and create index so these are the roles and privileges required in order to create a domain okay so let's test the connection to the new schema which we created now so our domain schema is ready now and I am going to install the Informatica running the installer as the administrator. So now the installer is running. Okay, so select the installer or upgrade Informatica 961 hotfix 4. You click on the start. Okay, it will extract the installer. So Leave as it is, install Informatica 961, click on next, click on next again, okay choose the license file where you have saved in the desktop, so I am choosing my license file. Okay, choose the Informatica home directory. So this directory can be created earlier or you can just give it will create the directory by, by itself. So I have created in my C drive so I am choosing the same. So click on next. Here is the summary. Click on next. So now the installer has begun. So binaries are getting copied to the Informatica home directory. So let's wait for a while. Uh, it will take some time. It's almost done. Okay, completed. So now the configuration started. So click on the create domain. So this, since this is a new domain, we have to click on the create a domain. By default, it will select the same option. So you can you have to enable the HTTPS for Informatic Administrator and leave the port number as it is by default 8443 and use a key store generated by a installer click on next so it will generate a key store it just allow access this will create a jks key store files
okay so database type choose oracle so by default it is oracle and just selecting and give the database user id whichever we created for the domain so that is info underscore domain and password for the account and jdbc url yes and provide the host name of the database so that is local host in my case and port number is 1521 this is the default port number for the database which is created and my service name is orcl1 so this is the service name which i created while installing the database so click on test connection so this should uh, success so the successful message yes click on next uh, now it is asking for the keyword for the security files so you enter any keyword which includes uppercase lowercase and numbers as well click on ok yeah so here by default domain i am leaving as it is name node node host name is my pc name and node name i am just modifying to the gateway gw is the gateway and domain username this is the super user administrator and i am providing the password for the administrator account confirm yeah click on the display advanced port configuration so this will show you a few more port numbers so before that uh, we will provide one more grant on the schema which we created so that is uh, unlimited table space uh, while creating the domain it should allow to create the tables and uh, views so if there is no grant on table space it cannot create so we are providing the access for that so click on next so defining the domain this will take a while so we can feed back So this will create all the metadata tables under the domain database schema. So once this is once the installation is done, you can probably go and check the uh, schema, and you can find all the tables.
yeah so domain has been defined now and the plugins is getting registered okay so that is done so uncheck the run informatica under a different user so we don't want to run the informatica services using any other account so by default we will run using the administrator account which we already uh, provided the password so services have been started and it is trying to ping the domain take some time So along with the informatica services there will be a tomcat service has to be started so yeah now both the node service node process and tomcat process has been started so it is able to ping the domain and now it is pinging the administrator if you check the services uh, you will see a two two processes on info info services dot exe. So that is one node process and one Tomcat process. So Tomcat process will be used to open the admin console. almost done Yeah, done so this is the uh, installation summary so you can save this link and you can find the logs from the given file so you can probably click done and you can open the admin console now so thank you for watching the video for uh, updates on the videos please subscribe on the channel thank you